Prison authorities knew there was a risk the gangland boss Carl Williams could be murdered in jail, but they failed to ensure his safety. That's the key finding of a report by Victoria's Ombudsman. Fellow inmate Matthew Johnson beat Williams to death in Barwon Jail last September. Lisa Maximovic reports on the latest chapter in the history of one of the nation's most notorious criminals. Two years ago, the brutal murder of underworld figure Carl Williams shocked the nation. But it should not have shocked the Corrections Department. In fact, the writing was on the wall. Well, I think it's been highlighted quite well that there were some shortcomings where things weren't picked up. It was the shooting of Carl Williams by Jason Moran that sparked a wave of killings in Melbourne's underworld. Williams ran a major drug syndicate and ordered hits on criminals who threatened him. He thought he was a, 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 a big-time gangster. He called himself uh, the Premier because he said he ran this state. In 2007, he was jailed for life for four murders. In prison, Carl Williams turned police informant. He was to be a star witness in an unsolved double murder. It was his evidence that a former drug squad detective had ordered the hit. Matthew Johnson, who shared the prison unit with Williams, had a notorious hatred of informants. The report found that a year before the murder, the Secretary of the Department of Justice was warned of the risk to Williams. And there were other warning signs. In emails and phone calls, Matthew Johnson referred to Williams' security. He told a cousin that there would soon be media attention. On top of that, Johnson had previously been in a fight where the seat stem of an exercise bike was used as a weapon. Anyone reading the report could only conclude that there were serious issues of intelligence gathering, serious issues of monitoring and serious issues around the management of Carl Williams and these events. The Premier has announced a review of Corrections Victoria management and has ensured all of the Ombudsman's recommendations will be implemented. Lisa Maximovic, ABC News.